Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel English Vanessa. In this video, we are going to discuss degree second semester regular examination 2023 English model paper which is prescribed by Usmania University. So as you people have attempted semester 1, so the same pattern you will get in semester 2 as well. So you will be having part A and part B, part A which contains 20 marks and part B which contains 60 marks that all together 80 marks paper will be there and time allocated is 3 hours. So students under part A you have to answer any 4 of the following questions. For each question you will get 5 marks that all together will be 20 marks. There will be total eight, uh, 6 bits in part A and you supposed to do any 4 out of those 6 questions. So each one carry 5 marks. And in part B you have to answer any 4 summaries out of 8. Each question carry 15 marks and that will be 60 all together. If you do all 4 summaries you will get 60 marks. Each summary carry four, 15 marks you have only four units unit 5 to unit 8 for second semester so part a from these four units you will get six questions and you have to do any four out of this and that are objective type questions which are vocabulary grammar and communication skills topics from unit 1 to unit 8 so let's see this first of all so in unit first you will be having vocabulary that is oxymoron and hyperbole. I have already uploaded the video of this oxymoron and hyperbole. The link I am providing under the description box of this video. You can watch that video. And in grammar section you will be having main verbs and tenses that also I have uploaded. And in communication skills paragraph and decision making will be there. So if you learn this for eight topics this vocabulary and grammar then easily you can score in your exam then vocabulary that is second loan words and the grammar is auxiliary verbs sequencing holistic health portmanteau words non-finite verbs which is in grammar descriptive writing and conflict resolution simile and metaphor adverbs argumentative writing and ethical behavior so for 20 marks you have to learn or you need to learn these all bits means all topics if you learn thoroughly these bits this all four vocabulary and four grammar so easily you can score in your exam and in section b you have to answer any four in about 200 to 300 words each so four question for each question you'll be getting 15 marks that together will be 60 marks now 200 to 300 words are nothing but you have to write full 3 pages or 4 pages. 3 or 4 pages. It would be 2 full papers front and back. So in unit 5 you will be having this poem the felling of the banyan tree. This video I have uploaded. You can see the link is providing under the description box of this video. In Hindi and English both the languages I have uploaded this and the second prose from this fifth unit the bed which is written by Anton Chikov this video also I have uploaded and the remaining videos I will upload soon and this sixth unit you'll be having a walk by moonlight then prose how the coronavirus sparked a wave of innovation in India then in seventh a different history noble lecture then in eight unit lady Macbeth speech how I became a public speaker written by J.B. Shaw. So while explaining paper pattern I will say you the brief descriptions of this all poems and prose. So if you learn any six uh, poem or prose means all together six summaries easily you can score in your exam. So now let us see a model paper. Let us start the part A answer any four of the following questions. So as I told you you will be having six question in part A you supposed to do any four. So for each bit you will get five marks that all together will be 20 marks. So let's start the first one answer as directed which means they will direct you in the bracket what you have to do for this sentence. So let's start solving the first one. Did you bring the original copy? So what you have to do identify the oxymoron in the sentence. So what are oxymoron? First of all let's see this one oxymoron. Oxymoron is a sentence or phrase which 
two opposite or contradicting words so you have to identify where is the opposite words in this sentence so you can see here original and copy these two are opposite words because original which is not copy this word and copy which is not original so these are the opposite words so in your answer booklet you need to write these two words or you can write this whole sentence and you can underline these two words as oxymoron now let's move to the second one what's for dinner i am starving underline the hyperbolic expression in the sentence so this again hyperbole this is also an figure of speech so it is used to emphasize on the sentence and it is used to highlight a point we should not take this uh, meaning literally it just used to emphasizes on the sentence so let's see this one what's for dinner i am starving where is the hyperbolic expression here this one i am starving which means someone is dying due to hunger so it is a hyperbolic statement which is emphasizing on someone is hungry too much hungry to emphasize that hunger we are showing i am starving no one will die due to hunger right so this is your hyperbolic expression now let's see the c1 the best days of my life dash b this they have given you the ones dash spent at college so what you have to do for this one filling the blanks with the correct form of the given verb in the brackets so students this is from unit 1 main verb and tenses so here what you have to do by using this words whatever they have given in the bracket the verbs they have given by using this you need to fill the blank so the best days of my life are or were what should be here so because b form is we can make five forms of b like is am are was were so the best days days is a plural so either we can take are or were but she is talking about the past because the best days of my life because she has already spent that days so that's why we need to take were here because it is a plural the best days were the ones spend spend is a v1 so we are talking about the past so we need to take v2 that could be spent spent at the college so in this way you need to do in exam in your answer booklet you can write first dash then the second dash now next move to the next one d the bees have left the hive so students this tenses video also i have uploaded the link i am providing under the description box of this video so the bees have left the hive have left so this you can see here it is a present perfect because have we have and v3 form we have so it is a present perfect tense you have to change it to present progressive tense which means ing you need to add here in this so how can you write the bees because bees are plural so the bees are because present r only we should take if single b is there then is we can take there if past were there then we can take were but it present progressive that's why r we are taking the bees are leaving not left because left is v3 so we need to write leaving the hive so answer in that way only you have to write you can see the video of tenses they were to well structure of the tenses now let's move to the next one do you know the person who lives in this house so again you can see here do you know the person who lives lives which is a present simple we are not uh, reading here that someone who was living and who will living but who lives which is a present simple so here identify the tense of the word in the sentence so it could be present simple simply you need to write this present simple tense so in your first sem also you got like this only for question number 1 there was five questions a to e so in this way only you will get five marks for this one question now let's move to the second question now in the second question again answer as directed so here again casino balcony opera and studio so identify the loaner of the words so in your test book page number 119 you will be having the box 
from those from those words which they have given in the test book you should learn all the words along with the language means these words are taken from the italian language so in this way only you will get in exam so you should learn all the words so that easily you can solve this question so these words are from the italian language so now let's move to the second one you must work hard every day so here underline the helping verb and the main verb so students i will upload this video soon so first of all let's see the verb so words can be divided into two that are main verbs and helping verb that is also called auxiliary verb helping verb and this helping verb is further divided into primary auxiliary and modal auxiliary primary and modal auxiliary in modal auxiliary you will get can could may might will shall should and here in primary auxiliary you will get is am are was were and do does did have has had and here in the main verb you will be getting that come sleep go jump this is a bear verb so this is the main verb so here you need to identify or you have to identify where are the main verbs and where are the helping verbs so let's start doing this you must work hard every day so as i told you students just now this is the model verbs like must had dare these all model verbs so must is a helping verb because models are under helping verb and this work which is a bare verb so this is the your this is your main verb so it is your main verb so in your exam you should write work then equals to main verb then must equals to helping verb this is your helping verb now next one is home dash you meet this afternoon again this is from auxiliary verb topic this is second unit grammar so what you have to do students you have to choose any one from these four option the correct option you should choose from this whom dash you meet so first of all you should read the sentence then based on the sentence subject or tense you should take this one option so whom dash you meet so you meet is there meet which is a v1 so this afternoon we are talking that's why we cannot take here the have because have if we are taking have then we should take v3 along with the have i have already uploaded the video on tenses so always this have form will get v3 but we have v1 here meet so we cannot take this have here now next one r whom did you meet this afternoon r also we cannot take because ing form is not there so we cannot take r also and whom did you meet were also we cannot take because this is present this afternoon and were we will take in the past so this is also we are eliminating now did we can take because we always do form gets v1 so whom did you meet this afternoon so did we will write here now let's move to the next one smug so split the portmanteau words into its original words so students in this way you will get in your exam they will give you portmanteau words you have to split it into original words like what is smug smoke plus fog that could be smug so original words you have to write smoke plus fog now oxford plus cambridge they'll give you two different words and you have to make the portmanteau words you need to create a portmanteau words so oxford plus cambridge you need to merge these two words that could be oxy bridge so in this way only you need to answer so this second question also if you do this a to e five bits in this second question you will get five marks so now students let us see the third bit here i love swimming the a1 so underline the gerund so what are gerund and participle present participle past participle infinitives finite and non finite so i will upload the video soon so just now we have seen verb that is divided into main and auxiliary verb not only this verbs are 20 to 25 types of verbs are there like weak verb strong verb irregular regular verbs principal verbs and transitive intransitive verb finite and non finite verb so what are finite and non finite verbs so finite verbs are nothing but these verbs will change based on the subject and the tense for example if i write here she 
because it is a single subject so what you will write she is swimming you will take singular verb here because finite are the verbs so she is swimming whatever object is there you can take if you are talking about past you can take she was swimming but if you change the subject if you write you or they so you need to change this verb also they are swimming if you are talking about present and they were sw swimming if you are talking about past so you can see here students these finite verbs are changing based on the tense and based on the subject so finite verbs nothing but they will change based on subject and tense but non-finite verbs they will never change irrespective of subject or tense so what are non-finite verbs non-finite verbs are gerund present participle past participle and infinitives so let's see what are gerund gerunds are nothing but this verb plus ing will be gerund which will act as a noun after verb or before verb in place of subject and object you will find this so that could be if you find in place of subject and object before verb or after verb this ing formation that will be your gerund now this will now where is the gerund here this one is your gerund this is a non-finite so i love swimming you can see here non-finite is there it will never change he loves swimming she loves swimming they love swimming so swimming is same but we are changing the subjects as you can see here by changing subject we are not changing this gerund so these are only non-finite which never change based on the subject and tense now let's see the second one eating freshly picked fruit is good for health now underline the participle now participle is divided into two present participle and past participle so they will act as an adjective so you will get this participle after the noun because they are acting as a what uh, adjectives so here freshly eating freshly picked fruit so what we are talking about picked fruit because fruit is a noun before before nouns we will get adjective so picked fruit so this is the past participle because ed is there now what are present participle present participle again ing form is there so how you will identify where is the present participle and where is the gerund because both will have the ing formation so just now i told you if you see this before the verb ing is there that is the subject and before after the verb if you get ing that is the object so in place of subject and object if you get without any noun after it because it will only act as a noun without noun if you get this this will be gerund and after ing formation or before ing formation if you are getting noun then it is the present participle now you can see here the movie was interesting so the movie is there so this interesting is describing this one because it is a helping verb it is not considering this interesting it is describing the movie so it is the present participle so it is present participle and it is the past participle ing form is gerund which is acting as a noun now let's see the next one i want to buy some vegetable you know what are infinitives infinitives are nothing but this is a 2 plus v1 2 plus v1 i have to sleep i have to go i have to write i have to eat whenever you use 2 plus v1 i have to go so this will be your infinitive so simply if you see in your exam 2 plus v1 then it is you should mark it as a infinitives i want to buy some vegetable 2 plus v1 buy is v1 now let's see the next one barking dogs do not bite identify the finite and non-finite verb in the sentence now what are finite just now i told you finite verbs will change based on the tense and sentence now barking dogs do not bite do is a your finite verb because it will change barking dogs because plural is there that's why we are taking do do if barking dog will be there then we can take does barking dog does not bite so this is your finite verb this is your finite verb now what is in non-finite verb just now we have discussed jar and participle are non-finite so in place of this this is the present participle because dog is a noun before noun adjectives will come so this participle act as a adjective only so this is your non-finite
I hope you are understanding it. Non-finite verbs. I will upload this video soon. This is non-finite. Non-finite verbs. So this, if you do this all five, again you will get five marks. Now let's see this fourth bit. So in this fourth bit, uh, let's see the first one. Her words were poison. Her, underline the two things being compared. This is from eight unit simile and metaphor. So here, student, this video I have already uploaded simile and metaphor. These both are the figure of speech. When we compare something with something else, that is called simile. And when we are something or comparing with something else, means something as something, if you are saying, so that could be simile. Something with something else, that is a metaphor. Directly you are comparing something, that is metaphor. If you are using as and like in your sentence, that could be simile. So what is this? Her words were poison. Directly you are describing her words with poison. You are comparing her words with poison directly. So it could be metaphor. So in your exam you should write this whole sentence and underline her words. Her words with were poison. Then metaphor. It is the metaphor. Directly you can write A and metaphor. And B the huge banyan tree stood like a problem. You can see like here as and like if you see in your sentence then it is your uh, what simile so it is your simile so what is the formula of this so x x means the banyan tree here the banyan tree is x then you should see like or as here after x like or as then y y is nothing but again noun a problem a problem is a y here this y this is x and this like so it is a structure so this will be the structure of this so you can remember in this way now let's see the c1 come dash before it finish filling the blanks with a suitable adverb so here adverb what are adverb so if I say in simple words, adverbs are nothing but it is used to describe verbs. This, this adverb not only describe verb but also adjective and to adverb themselves also. Means itself also. Adverb describe itself also. So what can we write here? Come dash before it finish. So come quickly. Simply you need to write quick l y l. This is the adverb of manner. Now he is driving too fastly. Correct the error in the sentence, given sentence of the adverb. So here he is driving too fast. We can write because fast is not a word here. He is driving too fast. Next one, I go to park dash evening. So here you need to means filling the blanks with the correct adverb suggested in the bracket. So they have given two adverbs here. So you should correct the one. So here, I go to park every evening or early evening. Early we cannot take here. Every evening it is a suitable one. So this is these four bits you will get from those eight topics, four vocabulary and four grammar. Now comes to that communication skills. You will be getting this fifth question. Define the meaning of conflict and write an argumentative essay. Now let's see what are this conflict. I will upload this video also soon. This all topics communication topics so let me uh, explain you in brief this this conflict is nothing but it is the means disagreement between the people this is called conflict. not only the people within ourselves also sometimes conflict arises whether we should do this or do that so that is also conflict so this conflict is divided into two interpersonal and intrapersonal so intrapersonal conflict will arise within the mind of uh, some person means individual example like frustration or depression means we will think that we should do this or we should follow this path or this part that is called intrapersonal conflict and interpersonal conflict which will be between two or more than two person so define the meaning of conflict you should write the definition and you should write what how many types of conflicts are there and they can ask you what are the solution to solve the conflict so you should learn that also now come to this write an argumentative essay on technology is running our ability to communicate now this argumentative 
descriptive essay is there and argumentative in descriptive essay you should write both things means advantages and disadvantages of something but in argumentative essay you can take one side either you can say advantages or disadvantages so here write an argumentative essay on technology so it could be you can see here it is a negative thing because they are asking a disadvantage so you you can write disadvantage you cannot write advantage here only you should write disadvantages of technology so this is all about the part a now let us see students so from this eight question you can answer any four you can avoid these two questions if you know this you can do in extra but if you learn those eight topic that is four that are four vocabulary and four grammar easily you can score in your exam see the part b in part b you supposed to answer any four of the following question about 300 words for each question you'll get 15 marks so if you do four question you'll get 60 marks so what are 300 pages it means you should write four pages four pages if it's equal to two papers front and back or you can write three pages also that could be full and i have told you in first semester how you have to do this first you should write the introduction to the poet introduction to the poet or if prose you are writing then introduction to the author in four to five lines in four to five lines then introduction to the prose or whatever question they are asking you can write this answer also in the second part introduction again this four or five lines then summary you should write summary means whatever question they will ask you in exam you should write the same summary related to that topic only so suppose in comprehension you are having eight or ten questions so whatever question they'll ask from the banyan tree you should write this one summary only which could be in two pages means two papers one three pages because this introduction will come in one page this three pages summary you should write then after that you should give the heading of conclusion it is compulsory you can avoid these headings but you should write about the author first then give some gap then introduction to the prose or you can write this answer and again some gap then summary heading then write the summary then leave some line then conclusion heading is must you should write conclusion or you can write theme here and then your summary will be completed so if you write in this way you will get 15 marks so this uh, banyan tree i have already uploaded video so this is second one both the banker and the lawyer make various choices so if you see banker and lawyer easily you can identify this is from the bed so in the bed there was a banker who hosted a party in that party there were a discussion between the life punishment means uh, life imprisonment or capital punish punishment means death so he has bet with the lawyer that he should uh, means live in solitary confinement for 15 years so that the banker will give him uh, 2 million rubles so he was agree that only the whole story is so again you should follow this step only introduction about the author and introduction to this lesson then summary then conclusion so you will get like this from these both the questions are from first unit only i will show you another pattern also this is the one pattern how you can get i will show you after this another pattern so from this first unit you will get this two question either you can write this or you can write this so my suggestion is you should learn six summaries so whatever will come easily you can write now let's move to the second one so here in the second one this is from the second unit these two questions a and b are from second unit so this one eight second unit this one what emotions did the walk rose in the speaker so this is from a walk by moonlight handy de resio and this is do you agree with the proverb necessity is the mother of invention this is the coronavirus lesson so this two again same about the author, about the poet about the poem then summary then conclusion four topics in this way only you should write this all now let's move to the next one ninth question what is the connection between saraswati and language so this question is from a different history which is written by sujata bhat and this is again from the unit 7th this is unit 7th and what are the characteristic of deal language as dead dead language as outlined by morrison means tony morrison is which is a noble lecture 
so here what kind of relationship do you think macbeth and lady macbeth share with each other i will upload this video also soon so here this one is the play it is a play which is in unit 8 and you will get either this one or this one either play or this essay based on what have you read trace the development of shaw as a public speaker